rest them water the horses. It's best I go alone. Spartans. We'll get along well with others. you this far south. I've come to see Leonidas to warn him that the Persians are on the march. Well, you're too late. The Persian messenger already presented his terms to Leonidas. A symbolic offering the birth of water. Spartans! Know this and know it well. At any Spartan's finest moment, greatest fulfillment of all he holds dear is that moment when he has poured his heart out for the preservation of Sparta and lies dead on the battlefield. Victorious! Now, who is willing to die at our king's side? Oh. 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 The Mystocles. You've come a long way to stroke your cock whilst watching real men train. Queen Gorgo. Shouldn't he be training them to live at their king's side? A new age is dawning, Gorgo. It won't be long before men rise up and shed the yoke of mysticism and tyranny. That sounds like a threat. No. An opportunity to join the rest of free Greece and stand against a true tyrant. Unless, of course, you and Leonidas have already made a deal with Xerxes. No terms were reached. Xerxes' messenger was... Well, he was rude and lacked respect. He didn't understand the same threats made in Thebes and Athens would not work here. This is the birthplace of the world's greatest warriors. Men whose king would stand and fight and die for any one of them. Xerxes' messenger did not understand this is no typical Greek city-state. So it was clear to the messenger there would be no Spartan submission. It was clear. Even now, Leonidas is in council with the Oracle over his battle plan. The festival of the Carnea is all that stands in our way. Surely the Oracle will see we must fight. Well, then my timing is perfect. I am commanding a fleet of ships that will represent a united Greece. I need Sparta to join me. Give me your ships, Gorgo. I will make sure that Xerxes wishes he never crossed the Aegean. You will receive no Spartan ships. We are not interested in a united Greece. That is your dream, Themistocles, not ours. All I am concerned with is the preservation of Sparta. My guards will see you out. It's funny that you mock freedom here in your selfish isolation. Yet freedom in her wisdom has chosen you to defend her. Will Sparta join our fight? 